Hi, welcome back to another Archicad Speed modeling tutorial by ASM Tech Base. My name is Carsten Endy. Join the ASM Tech Base email list for newsletters and future updates. Okay, I start with this base here. Um, I've got two sections and I drew all this just with 2D lines and fill before I start my 3D model. I added some dimensions to give you some idea of scale and yeah that's about it to start up okay so this first one here where our walkways that's just a fill then i added some arcs around you can see i got two large one i added a square and you can see the cross in the middle this is this everything goes from that cross in the middle and i just sort of adjusted that uh, compared to the walkway to the fill that it when i rotate this in a moment that everything uh, works out well I copied all this and I went to A1 and I put this in here too. So again, this is only 2D for now. So I like to start off with first with the, obviously the slab. Let's just start off with the slab. Now the slab, we just simply draw here and you draw that up this way and we just extend it for now a little bit. Okay, so it's a start off slab um, i have even looked at the um, settings so i should really look the, uh, look at that so let's put this in as a concrete floor concrete and floor will do for now and i want this 500 thickness and put this on zero so if i go to my a1 section now there we go i've got this here you just move it down very simple there we go so i got my starting point here there you go and the next one is we do the arcs around the walkway so i'm going back to my a1 section you can also use an elevation that's fine and i start drawing this now i had to think about it because the way we want to design this i need to be able to then especially obviously the arc doesn't matter but the frames i need to be able to rotate the frames and to do this rotation I can't, as example, draw this with certain tools. Let's start off with the morph tool and you go over here to that arc and you do a space click. There we go. We got this first flat morph. Okay, let's go into 3D. You can see that's totally flat. And now to get this inner circle cut out, morph is different to like the slab tool. If you use the slab tool, you can space click and it will create a hole. If I do this here, what would happen? So I gotta be move tool and I space click here. Do you see already it does not cut this out? So what it does is if I go into 3D, yeah, see it's still there. And if I select this now, that's the only sort of still the same piece as we had before. Okay, so I cleared the morphs and I show you what you have to do to get this hole into this morph circle or morph arc. So let's do that again. I take the morph and actually, by the way, I put this also on concrete and we space click. And before we do this, actually, I almost forgot to tell you, you can see at the moment the space click has some element segments in here because it depends again on the settings you have in your magic wand tool where is it there it is okay so what you do is you select this and you have the option here to modify morph and curve merge edges so if you do this see it's a lot more round now now what it does is you can see actually it does make it a bit smaller than the actual arc is so let's do this one more time i think you can do it twice or three times just don't don't overdo it yeah i think that's about as good as it gets with the morph in archicad and we just extend this now so let's go there go there and you just move this out okay now how do we do this hole well what we do is we now do what we did before and we space click again, select this one, zoom in a bit, you can see, we do the segments again here, so let's smooth that out a bit. Uh, we 
go and we go to this one here and move it out right select both and we go into 3d so we got both here now and as you can see i did not do this in the elevation like last time the section but that's okay we keep going so you take this now and you extrude this it up this one here i think we can leave this flat for now let's go down here and no i want this one extrude down all right cool so keep this selected and you can go in here and you can subtract so you click there see i got this perfectly subtracted one thing we can try again it's still a bit segmented let's select this and we try another one here i think we could go smooth this one right no 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 wrong one wrong one we gotta go to this one here it is this one it doubles the segments yeah see it gets much more smooth now excellent and while we are it, let's extend this by i want this concrete arc um make it 200. okay i mean i have a concrete you can do a steel arc it doesn't really matter okay so i've got this here and of course i've got it in the floor plan at the moment let's move this into the section so i can turn it around okay the next bit i like to model up is the steel wires here okay now how did i do them exactly around because you can see they fit exactly in the middle here middle of the arc and we got uh, one two three in between so all i did is i started with one circle they're just 2d at the moment and i used this tool and i said rotate i wanted to distribute it i needed 15 of them and you have to make sure you do minus one because in this case i already got one if i want 16. i click ok go in the middle of the arc you go up here and you can see it distributes them all the way around and you can see when i finish up here i could just click and they're all done so i don't need this because i already done it but that's how i got those circles in perfect position now first i did those with a beam and i'll show you what happens because it would be much easier just to use the beam tool for this you can still use it but i'll show you in a moment why i use the morph so i've got the beam 200 thickness is fine let's just click ok for now and i draw a beam in my section that beam is here and i move this up here there we go i said ah oh, all right this is great let's move it down a little bit because i think i only got 150 so let's move this back to reduce this to 150. okay in 3d this is great love it and now i wanted to also rotate him around and unfortunately the beams don't rotate around it's really annoying so i'll show you this quickly so i've got the beam selected and if I go in here now, see, I told you before, the rotate option is not available. It also doesn't work with the shell tool. So it's a little bit annoying because now what you have to do is you have to, you know, you could obviously say cancel and you just do this. You can just say, okay, let's copy them around like this. I mean, it doesn't take that long. You can just go like this and you go in the middle here. See, you just keep clicking around and, you know, maybe it takes you couple of minutes and they're done if you don't want to do this do the do the um steel wires here instead of the beam just do them again with the morph tool and with the morph tool you can rotate and copy not a problem but maybe for this tutorial now let's keep with the beam you see that it only took me a minute i mean that's still fair enough they're all selected by the way now Make sure you group them before you deselect. It's always handy to have this type of thing grouped if you can. See, sometimes, again, in the section, I'm trying to group it and it doesn't want to group it. So you can here group 
and it doesn't do it. Now there's a trick just going to 3D because that's the only thing we selected at the moment. So in 3D, select them here and I think it works in 3D. There you go. Beautiful. Don't we all love Archicad? Yes, we do. Okay. We do have this here now. Starting to look good. And the next bit I want to do is before I copy around and extend everything, I also want to do, actually, no, no, I think it's better we first extend and we copy the arc along. All right, move everything apart from this little bit that way. And let's just move it there for now. Okay, what I like you to do is, again, I'm just designing this as I'm going. So sometimes, watch this, I drag a copy and I look roughly half, you know, this is too close. If I go back, this is very wide. You can see them, it's 70 meters, 60 meters. So for me, the design, if I go every five meters, maybe you do every 10, because we will have in between the squares that will rotate. So let's do it every 10 meters. That's actually not bad. All right. So we go and use this tool and we say increment uh, spread, drag, 10 meters. Oops. Okay, and you can see I can just now extend that. Now, okay, depends how long your walking bridge is. 10 meters, let's make it a 50 meters. Yeah, let's do this. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so I got 10, 20, 30. I should have done one more. Never mind. Let's do this and we drag another copy. Just go from this corner to this corner. Oh, didn't quite keep the corner. See the distance there, but you know what? Let's cheat a little bit. There you go. Okay, perfect. Then those ones here, you extend. You can use the marquee tool. Watch this, make sure they're not grouped, suspended, and we should be able to extend them. Yeah, very nice. Okay, oops. Yeah, that's all. We can always do more extended longer, not a problem. Let's get back here, also extend our walkway. For now, we do this there. And we do this there. I think I extend a little later a little bit further. Great, this is good. This is good. Now the next bit I'd like you to show is how do we create the square bits? Well, because we want to rotate them, I really like to use the morph tool. Even so you'll see in a moment, I can rotate them first on the floor plan and I tell you, <laughs> you will see in a moment, it's actually quite a clever idea instead of rot rotating them here and move them after. So use the morph tool again. We got this and I can obviously rotate them, right? Rotate them. But what is cool here, I can elevate them at the same time. This you can't do obviously in the section. Now before I do all this, I need to work out how many of those squares are it like in between the two arcs. So let's go here. Okay, the way we can work this out is uh, pretty simple. I want five in between. So this one here, I mentioned this is the very first one. Okay. So from here, I start one, two, three, four, five. And I want this one to be number six. So you zoom out a bit. So it's six, 12, 18, 24, 30. Okay, so I rotate them and I'll use 30 of them. And actually, you know what? I have to move that back, don't I? Otherwise, I can't really rotate this. Well, I can, but it will not fit. So I have to move it exactly there to use the middle point here. Before I do this, you saw when at the very start, we have some neon lights in there. So I gotta add those neon lights. It 
again make sure you group them there we go grouped yep all right and we get back so now i can rotate and remember we said 30 but i like to exactly work this out now and they will start in the middle here and hit m no it was 50 wasn't it? yeah it was 50 it was 50. so we go to the calculator here and we put in 50 and divide by 30. 166.6666 okay we go here select this and we rotate increment 1666.666 copies remember you want 30 okay let's see what happens go there and we go there it's quite a lot let's hope we can do it great make sure we got the neon lights in there yes we do all right and again make sure you group this great let's move it yeah i like it i like it as you can see at the moment they're obviously not not totally supported okay down here there's nothing really that supports them the the square frames are supported by the steel wires but the arcs they're sort of you know in the air so you have to go back to our um section here okay and then we have to add another sort of support so if i take the morph now and uh, it's pretty hard to you see it doesn't there's just too many things going on so in this case i just draw around quickly instead of using the magic wand to go in there and there and we select this and you just adjust the oops hang on a second let be careful here suspend groups even though it's not grouped a bit funny but never mind that can happen and you can see if you zoom in you have to do it again we convert this a little bit more there we go great oh i didn't really want to do that okay let's undo that because we do it then in 3d hang on a second go down here it's probably easier so if we look at it in 3d that's where we are and let's move them out turn around yep a bit more that's fine so we move them to there and on that side you just move that in there you go so you have this support system and you just copy them along the arcs okay so we got the support system everywhere where the arcs are now and if you think that's too busy i also have a layer combination as example if you think the arcs and the steel rods are a bit too busy you can turn them off there you go then you have only this one which looks quite cool too but then again at the moment they're sort of floating okay so you would have to come up with a support system and compared to here they are within the steel rods okay i hope you enjoyed this quick coffee break tip and i'll see you back next time bye for now